So you've spent all of this time preparing your talk, you know, you've put together your slides. The next thing is to practice. Do you think that when Beyonce gives a big performance, she hasn't practiced it? Absolutely not. Any professional speaker, entertainer, musician, what we see as an audience is a product that has been refined. You have to do it over and over and over again. Yes, most of the work you're gonna do in terms of preparing a talk is about building those slides, figuring out that story, you know, doing all that work. So maybe that's like 75% of the work. But then, like a quarter of my time needs to be spent practicing. Practicing your talk accomplishes actually many things. Fundamentally, it allows you to really think about how you're saying things. Are you being clear? Are you comfortable with what you're saying? Are you able to be conversational? One advice that I was given was to speak less, but speak more effectively. The way I was told I could achieve that was by practicing. It lessens the nerves, so the more that you're comfortable with the talk, the more that you're gonna be comfortable with the talk when you're on the stage. It's also about remembering your talk. Practicing it really ingrains it into your brain, and you then have a chance to sort of be like, okay, well, I know where this talk is going next. I know what next slide is happening. It allows you to feel more comfortable, act more comfortable when you're up in front of an audience. If you're an athlete and you like practice like throwing a ball over and over again, you want you know, like you want to have have that throw in your kind of like muscle memory. And similarly, the more times you run through um, your talk, the more it's going to kind of roll off the tongue. Practicing, I would say, is the number one way to remember your talk but practicing can look different for different people. Spending time at first writing scripts, rehearsing them until they became part of my voice. Putting the script to the side and then going over the presentation. I have not found that scripting works too well for me. There's, there's something about the action of saying the talk that I need to do, the, the physical action of writing, doesn't seem to capture. Talking myself through it, you know, saying it out loud. I'll practice in front of my cat, I'll practice in front of my husband, you know, um, my colleagues at work. You can do things like video yourself or do an audio recording of yourself. Filming myself and watching it back was extremely difficult, but it was the way I really saw where my hand movements were very silly and where I wasn't pausing or slowing down. I do a lot of practicing maybe in front of a mirror at first, and I try and do that actually without any of the visual cues. I want to make sure that I'm comfortable talking through it regardless of whether there are slides there. Practice everything. Practice what you're going to say. Practice pauses. Practice hand gestures. The order of your slides. How you're going to deliver things. You also need to get feedback. All of these ideas have just been living in your head, but it's not entirely clear until someone else has seen what you're saying and gives you some feedback whether or not you're actually getting that out across through your talk. So am I, am I making sense? Like, did you follow me through the talk? Is my language clear? Am I using too much jargon? Am I not making sense? Are my slides clear? Are they too confusing or too complicated? Is there anything about my design that maybe isn't accessible? Am I using like red and green, which would be a problem for people who are red, green, colorblind? Is there a place where you need to give more background information because something is not clear later on in the talk? And then there's little simple things like, are there typos? Did I remember citations? In order to present yourself in a really clear way, it's important to try out how you're describing things in front of a lot of different people. Trying to find people who are your friends and colleagues who kind of mimic the audience that you're going to be in front of. It is important to have the perspective of someone else, someone who's not from your field, someone who's not a scientist, because these people usually have the best feedback 
on how understandable your presentation is. By asking other people, letting them be critical of your work, you can really make it better. It's not just about knowing what you need to change. You also get to hear about what your strengths are and what you've done well. It's just really about making your communication better. An effective talk is made in the preparation. As you do more and more of them, the process becomes a lot quicker and you know what to do. You get to know yourself better and what works for you. Practice makes better.